Mr. Moderator. Sir. Mike Costello, Chairman of the Planning Board. First, I'd like to clarify a uh, clarification from a while ago. There was a gentleman up here who said the Planning Board had a secretary. We haven't had a secretary in a, quite a Let's while. Let's stick to the issue, Mr. Costello. Thank you. That's for a later time. Just, I just want the people to know that. Um, this, this particular subdivision has been through the Planning Board. A lot of you uh, Channel 9 uh, 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 idols out there that like to watch it all the time have seen us many, many hours going over this meeting. We had more engineers there than NASA. Uh, there was, uh, we met more types of engineers than we've ever saw before. Uh, some we can't even name to this day. I don't think the planning board can. Uh, the EPA was out there, the, the uh, DEP. Uh, I, I, I go on and on. Uh, the planning board had looked this over. We had, we had gone out there. We got our final approval from our engineer. We got final approvals from all the other engineers, and um, we feel that this road is a good road for the town of Rehoboth, and there's no issues at all. Um, the, the last gentleman that was up here, I'm going to put another hat on as far as the stormwater officer. Um, during that, that freak storm that we had uh, months back, th those series of storms where we had almost a 500-year storm, uh, I went through there, I took pictures, there was minimal water going on his property, and the only water going on his property is from a drain that is on Davis Street. That drain was on Davis Street, it, it's part of a, a, a reconstruction that was done there by the highway department, or, or with the cooperation of the highway department, the developer did it for us. Uh, that was a repair, and there was minimal water going on his property from that. And I have uh, pictures in our office of that situation. But as far as uh, that road goes, the planning board has recommended to accept. Chair recognizes Mrs. Matoso. Good evening. Got to get it out on the way over because you can't get it. Terry Moitozo, 14 Home Street. Um, I'd like to ask a question. If this particular... Who is the question? It, it would be to the Board of Selectmen, I guess. Um, if this had to be brought to town meeting by petition, has it ever been presented in the normal course of business where a roadway, again, goes through planning, as Mr. Costello stated, goes through the whole process, the road is in, it's being used, it's driven on, et cetera, et cetera. Planning board feels that the project is done, it's complete, people are moved in, people are living there, and then it's, it's requested that the road be accepted at town meeting, become part of the number of miles in town that becomes part of chapter 90 money, if I remember correctly. Why is it that this has never been through that process and put to the planning board and other boards for approval. Why did it have to get to petition? Selectman Foley, will you respond to the lady's question, please? Order, please. Yes. Uh, majority of the board voted. Uh, we're looking for final uh, sign-offs for a few different things on the subdivision. One thing in, in, in uh, related to the, uh, uh, the detention pond. I don't know if you've been watching it, whether it would be a liner or a clay and so on and so forth. That's still an issue with the planning board. Uh, I'm sorry, the board of selectmen. And we're just looking for a simple sign off from an engineer. That's all we're waiting for. So we can either, you know, I'm sure we'd approve it, but we're waiting for that. It's been ever given to us and uh, that's what we're waiting at this point. Looking for more information so we can approve or disapprove. Does that answer your question? Does that answer the lady's question? Can I, can I ask yeah. another question based yep. on that? I will allow you one more question. Is it normal and customary that the um, procedures of the planning board giving their approval and the processes then have the selectmen getting involved in engineering and construction, et cetera, et cetera? Isn't that normally the planning board's purview to, to review all that since was order, it built please, according order. to construction, built according to plans, was it not proven to be built according to the way it was designed? Okay. Selectman? 
Yes. <clears throat> First of all, we have to sign our name to that. So everything has got to be done right uh, as per plans and specification. That is part of the issue. Was that approved, how it got approved, and so on. So we are waiting for that information and the sign off from <coughs> the engineer. Thank you, Selectman Foley. Chair recognizes Mr. Ferrara. <coughs> Good evening. John Ferrara, 95 Cameron Way. Um, I own those, that subdivision, I own those two streets. I petitioned it because the selectmen refused to lay it out. Mass General Law gives the planning board, the people we elect to that board, sole authority over the construction of roadways from start to finish, from hiring peer review engineers to getting sign-offs on everything that's been done. As Mr. Costello said, uh, anyone that's watched Channel 9 has seen what's been going on out there. Time after time after time, we have proven, been proven right. Um, with peer review engineers, with a $60,000 hydrological report, which had never been done in this town. The selectmen have never, as long as I've been in this town and come into town meetings for 30 years, got involved in a planning process. Never. There's planning board members of, you know, I know that have been on for 25 years, and they'll tell you that. Um, November of 08, I have a special town meeting warrant here. Twelve roads were accepted. Twelve. By majority vote, by the way. Um, with Mr. Foley, Mr. Mora, and, and Skip Vadney sitting at the Let's be careful chairman, with the names, the Mr. The selectman Farrell. at the time. Okay. Wasn't a question. One of the big questions that I was told that they wanted a, a letter from the engineer on was cameras going through pipes. Never been done by the planning board. If the selectmen had done their homework, they would have found out that the planning board holds $5,000 cash from the developer two years after the road is accepted. Ten out of the 12 that were approved last year used HDPE pipe. None of them used a camera. None of them were requested to be used a camera, as the chairman asked me to do. Um, it's something that we call, we call these housekeeping articles for six years. They're housekeeping articles. The roads get approved. We immediately get reimbursed with Chapter 90 money. Um, and again, we've elected seven members of a planning board to do this job. The road was signed off by our town engineer, by the peer review engineer. It was signed off. Things like the retention ponds, it, that was beat to death. And we actually had a complaint made to the United States uh, Department of uh, Environmental Protection and a federal agent came out and said what we had to do was absolutely ridiculous. It, was, it basically went against the wetlands bylaws and everything else by what they made me do. Um, so it's been done far better than any subdivision's ever been built. There's no reason not to accept it. I was informed, again, spending town council money, they had to get a decision on whether this vote would count or not. To me... Mr. Ferrer, excuse me, the chair is going to allow you some additional time to finish your remarks. Okay. Town meeting speaks. Um, I've been told by the majority of the board that this, well, no matter what town meeting says, they're not going to lay out this road. But I want to at least, I want town meeting to speak. Thank you. 